Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying the REST operator in JavaScript. JavaScript has the REST and SPREAD operator, which both uses three dots, one, two, three. But depending on how you use these three dots, you can either be doing a REST operation or a SPREAD operation. In the video I'll be making after this one, I'll be simplifying the SPREAD operator, but in this video, I'll be focusing on the REST operator. So what is the REST operator? The REST operator in JavaScript is used to gather the remaining values or items in a collection. Collection can either be arrays or objects. The REST operator gathers the remaining values and it stores it in another collection. And what do I mean by this? I'll be showing you some examples. So let's say we have an array of three items one two three or let's make it five items so we have an array of five numbers here and let's say we want to destructure this array in this destructuring i assign the first value in the array to the first variable assign the second value in the array to the second variable while destructuring i have extracted these two values the remaining values in this array is three four and five by using the rest operator one two three I can gather these remaining values and assign them to a variable. I can call this remaining values. If I come down here and I console log remaining values, let me zoom in a little. If I come here and I run this file with node test, you can see that remaining values is an array of three, four, five, which is the remaining three values after destructuring. This is what I mean by gathering the remaining values in a collection and storing it in another collection. You can do the same thing for objects. I'm going to create an object here, and this is going to have a name of JavaScript, a channel of decode, also age of 50, type language. I'm going to destructure this object also. From this destructuring, I take the name property, assign it to the name variable, take the channel property, assign it to the channel variable. After the structuring, we have extracted these two properties. The remaining properties here are age and type. By using the rest operator again, one dot, two dot, three dots, I can assign these remaining properties to a variable. So I can call this remaining properties. If I come down here and I console log remaining properties and I run the file again with node, you can see the remaining properties has an age of 50 and has a type of language you can see how using the rest operator we gathered the remaining values in this object and stored it in a variable you can do more with rest operator for example when using it with function arguments and i'm going to show you that again so let's say i have a function called get numbers this function accepts num1 parameter num2 parameter considering that i can pass more argument to this function i can use the rest operator to gather the remaining arguments to a variable so i can have the rest operator like this and i can call this remaining arguments so inside this function i'm not going to do much i'm just going to console log remaining arguments while executing this function i pass maybe 20 as num1 50 as num2 then i can pass as many more arguments as i want 100 200 500 1000 when i come here clear the console and i run this again you can see that the get numbers logs the remaining arguments as 100 200 500 1000 in an array which are the remaining values like i said the rest operator gathers the remaining values so these are the remaining values in the function argument you can use rest operators in different ways in this video i've shown you how to use it with array destructuring object destructuring and also with function arguments if you enjoyed this video please give it a like also subscribe for more content and stay tuned for the video on the spread operator